Hello, this is Jeff Foster with WebBizIdeas.com. Today, I will be going through a tutorial on how Google Local works, as well as how small businesses can use Google Local to promote their business for free. We'll start out with Google. We'll type in Google Local to find it. Now you'll notice that two results show up. One, Google Maps, and two, Google Local Business Center. This is because they're the same thing. But we'll click on Google Local Business Center. And you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner you can sign up for an account for free. You just fill out this information and press submit. But if you already have a Google account, you can just sign in with your normal Google account and then sign up from there. Once you've logged into your local business center, you'll be able to click the button called Add New Listing to create a new listing for your business. Once you click that button, it'll bring up your listing. Now, you'll notice you can type in your country, your company, your street address, your city, your state, your zip, your phone number, email address, website, and description. There are a lot of fields that you can type in. And as you guess, Google Local works like a normal search engine, where each of these fields depicts where your listing shows up in the overall results. So really, you need to optimize this listing for your results to show up high in the search engines. As I described before, Google Maps and Google Local are the same thing. If you type in Minneapolis Web Development in Google Maps, you'll receive 10 results and the map results. But you'll notice that this first listing and all 10 listings are also the same as if you typed in Minneapolis Web Development in Google and you saw the list local listings here. You can still see that same listing is the same as in the maps. So they're the same thing. But it's nice to be in Google Maps. You'll receive traffic and if someone types in your company name, it's also very nice to find you. But at the same time, where you'll receive the most traffic is if you're in that top 10 results because those results carry over into the organic listings. All right, so we're back at Google Local Business Center and we clicked create a listing and now we're gonna type in our company name and organization what should we type in? Our company offers many services from web design, from consulting, to graphic design, to logo design. What are we going to type in here to make us number one, to make us in that top 10 listing? Should we just type in our company name? Will that make us number one? Well, in order to answer that question, we need to do a little bit more research. All right, we're back on our company website. We're under our graphic design services page and let's just say our company CEO has asked me says Jeff I want to be number one for Minneapolis logo design Minneapolis banner ad design Minneapolis business card design I want to be number one for all these services in Minneapolis so again the question at hand is what do we type in to that company organization field to make us number one well the key word, the research that I was talking about is actually in Google we need to first go to Google and find out if it's worth our time to even create a Google Local listing. Because like I said, Google Maps and Google Local are the same thing. So if we go to Google Maps and type in Minneapolis banner ad design, we see 10 results, right? But if we type in Minneapolis banner ad design into Google, we don't see the Google Map listings. We don't see the Google Local listings. So there's really no point on creating a Google local listing if it's not going to show up in the organic results to me because it's not going to uh, bring enough traffic so I would say okay I'll, I'll focus on the organic listings and so the research that I'm talking about is you need to go into Google and type in the keyword phrases you're going for if you try to optimize for a Minneapolis logo design type that into Google find out if it actually appears in the local listings if it does create a listing account uh, and so I would do that for each of our graphic design services. I might go to Minneapolis business card design. No results, so I'll focus on the organic. So that's the research that you need to do. All right, so we're back at Google Local Business Center. I'm adding the listing. I've decided to add a listing for Flash Animation, for our Flash Animation graphic design services. So again, what do we type into that company and organization name? Notice how I stress this is important. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Google, type in Minneapolis, let's say Flash Design. Great. The results show up. We're not in it. 
What about if I type in flash animation? Great. The results show up. We're not in it. So I'm going to go back to that Google bo Local Business Center. I'm going to still type in our company name because that's important. So Web Biz Ideas, let's say Flash Animation Design. That's what we're going to type into our company and organization. We'll type in our street address. Don't type in a PO box. Make sure it's a street. Uh, your city, your state, your zip. I like putting a local phone number instead of a 1-800 number. Uh, your email address and then the website. Now the website we could probably put our graphic design page but we want to put our actual flash animation page. Not only will this help with our uh, conversion rate but also at the same time Google likes that page actually being about flash animation. Uh, and then we'll type in our description. Notice we have you know, our flash animation graphic design can add life to any internet business and then we also list uh, some other keywords like games, tutorials, cartoons, characters, uh, players. So we want to put some keywords also in our description. And then we'll click the next. And Google Local takes us to the next page, which is the category section. Now, this category section is probably the most important part that you'll do. Now, remember, we want to optimize for what? Flash animation and flash design. So we're going to first type in flash. Uh, you want to see if any categories come up. Uh, if you see anything that relates to your company, you'll definitely want to use that category they suggest. But they don't, so I'm going to type in flash animation. And then I'll add another category, and I'll put flash design. Now it still lets me add more categories. Um, so I'm going to still type in, let's say, graphic. OK, graphic designer comes up. I'll, I'll select that. And you know, a lot of times people search for web designers, so I'll also search for web designers. Okay, so I have my four categories there. I believe I can add one more, but um, the those four will do. Uh, but that's very important. You want to always take Google's suggestions, and you always want to put what you're trying to optimize for in that category. And then it asks some other questions like operating hours, uh, payment options. Uh, and other things. I like to fill out as much as possible because Google loves content so uh, I always figure the more the merrier. Uh, another important thing is you want to put a picture. So I'll browse my computer, find a little light bulb guy and I'll add that. Um, now that's important. The first picture you add is very important because that's what's going to show up in your Google Maps listing. Um, so you want to pick something that's going to brand your company. Uh, you can up, upload up to 10 images, which I suggest adding more. Um, but just for this purposes, I'm just going to add one, and then I'll hit Submit. Now, Google Local will bring you to a page that you need to verify uh, that you belong to this organization that you're submitting. Uh, they'll allow you to verify by phone or by postcard. Uh, mine only says postcard just because I've submitted so many. Um, but usually you can hit phone and they'll just call you immediately and they will give you a confirmation number that you need to type in um, to verify you're part of that business. And then you're up and running. Uh, usually it takes anywhere from two days to around two weeks for your, your listing to show up. Uh, in this case it's going to take um, probably three to four weeks uh, because I need to receive that postcard, verify it, and then Google will, will add it to their listings. Uh, but usually it takes around two to two days to two weeks. Um, and that's really the, the tutorial. And the last thing that I want to talk about is that your listing will not always show up in the, the top ten. Uh, many times I would, I would wait two weeks and if it's not, go back into your Google local account uh, and edit that listing. You can always edit your listings, you can always create new ones, you can delete ones and create new ones. So just like search engine optimization, don't get frustrated if you're not in the top 10 right away. Uh, it's a process and you'll learn it and you'll get better as you go.